Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And today I have two more missions for you to see for the Unearth First Lego League uh, robot game. And today I'm gonna be bringing you mission number three, the Mineshaft Explorer. And I'm gonna bring bringing you my, uh, mission number 11, the Angler Artifact mission. So let's go ahead and start with the Mineshaft Explorer. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the points. And at the end of this video, I will show you how a simple robot can get this mission done, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the mission or the Mineshaft Explorer. What you need to do on this mission is make sure that the mine cart that's on your side of the table is on the other team's um, board. So you're gonna to have to somehow lift the um, tracks that the mine cart is on so that it rolls to the other team side of the board. And basically the cart will end up at the end of the track on the other sides or the other team's board. And you're gonna be looking to get 30 points if the mine cart's on the other team's board. Okay, now let's go ahead and shift gears to the Angler Artifacts mission. This is gonna be mission number 11. I know I told you guys before, always do the missions that are closest to the base. So this one is right next to the east base. And I don't know if you should try this one. It is by no means easy points. Let me go ahead and explain how you get your points for this mission. The mission model is gonna, again, like I said, right in your base. What you're gonna have to do is hit the red bar to make the pulley come up. And you're going to have to hit it at least eight or nine times. Depending if your robot slips, I would set mine for nine or 10, maybe even 11. If you're going to try this mission, does it take time? Yes. So your team has to really decide, do we want the points for this, depending on how long it takes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the points. If you can raise the artifacts just above the dig site, that's gonna be 20 points. And if you can get the flag to at least lower, there's gonna be a little cylinder. If you can get that to drop, it's gonna be worth a bonus of 10 points. So this mission could be worth 30. Again, decide with your team whether you want to take the time to do this. It is not an, uh, a quick and easy mission. It will take some time. Um, so you're going to have to just decide. So now let's go ahead and go to looking at how I got a Lego EV3 educator robot to do both of these missions. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so again, I wanna just encourage through these videos, the beginning teams that are overwhelmed with how many missions there are and how you know complicated robots can get where you might have, you know, see teams with three or four or five attachments, all, you know, very intricate. Don't feel like you have to have, you know, these super complicated robots. Hopefully through these videos, you can just see that I have some pretty simple active and passive attachments uh, to get the job done. And hopefully this allows your team to kind of strategize and figure out what's worth the points, what's worth the time when you have to put it all together in all of your missions, okay? So hopefully these videos have been helpful to not only understand the mission, how many points they're worth, but possible solutions to that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am Mr. Hino from Missing Those Lego Robotics. I know. He's out. 
He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.